Good evening, Neil here. This video is about how to use Forescan to align the front lane keeping assist camera after a windshield replacement. The local glass companies want 170 simoleons to do the camera alignment. That is a bit steep, so I thought I would do it myself. Here is a disclaimer. You can mess things up pretty bad if you don't know what you're doing by tapping into the vehicle CAN bus. If in doubt of your abilities, don't do it. Could not find a detailed procedure on the web. So here is a step-by-step -step guide that I used to align the Lane Keeping Assist camera. I'll keep this short and sweet, so I'll speed through the boring parts as best I can. Connect the CAN bus interface to the vehicle. Start Core Scan. Connect to vehicle. Start the vehicle. Make sure the HS-MS CAN switch is in the HS position. Does that mean high speed? Doesn't really matter. Press OK. Feedback needed. Found recorded profile for this or similar vehicle. Would you like to load the selected profile? No. This is very important. The information is read. Now you get a message where it says a vehicle may have MS CAN modules. Is that like for medium speed? Again, it doesn't matter. Put the HS MS CAN switch in the MS position. Yes, then OK. It reads the available modules. Yeah, sure, save the profile. Doesn't really matter. Now, click on the wrench for service functions. This is where the front sensor alignment is located. Click on C, C, M. Calibrate cruise control sensors. Then click on the run service procedure arrow on the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Now you get a message explaining what you need to do. You get three messages in total. Message 1. Let's look at this message a bit closer. Service alignment procedure required. Yep. Now, you will need to drive straight at a speed over 30 miles per hour or 50 kilometers per hour until the message on the instrument cluster has cleared. A straight road is good, with no gentle bends. I like a three-lane road, well marked, and I drive in the center lane. With respect to the message on the instrument cluster, this is what it looks like. Does it take 5 to 15 minutes? Well, at least 10 minutes. Press OK. Here is message 2. Please run the engine and keep it idle. Well, I am parked and idling while I'm setting this up, so I'd say I'm good to go. Press OK. Message 3. The key to this third pop-up window is press OK after the actions are completed. What actions? Driving until the adaptive cruise control message on the instrument cluster is cleared. The first couple of times I tried this, I mistakenly pressed OK at this point, and then you get kicked out of the alignment procedure and you have to start all over again. So don't do that. Don't do anything. Just leave this window up. I'll note here, when I did this video, at the beginning I forgot to press the outside button on the turn signal stop to turn on lane keeping assist. So press that button, and here's what the instrument cluster looks like. You observe the not aligned message, and can see how well you're doing at staying within the lines while you are driving on a straight, well-marked road. I do not like this procedure very much because you do not get any feedback on your progress. So, you're driving along, all of a sudden the message on the instrument cluster is cleared. In this example, here I set the cruise control to test it out. The cruise control worked fine. So I drove back to where a place I could stop safely and I parked the vehicle. Then, on this third Forescan message, I clicked OK, and you are done. The camera is aligned. Now, click on the little car, and then go down and disconnect from the vehicle. So, that's about it. Thank you for watching.